Well, it was actually my daughter who uh, came to me and said, God, I don't know how you can call yourself an environmentalist, Dad, whilst you're selling nice meat. <laughs> and um, I don't nice know that I'd ever called myself an environmentalist, but it did. And she made me watch that bloody film, Cowspiracy, which I hated. It, it made very good points, you know, and I, I found myself thinking about it. And, that, you know, if we want to save our precious planet, really kind of the, one of the easiest things we can do is to mm. massively reduce the amount of um, mm. meat and eggs and dairy yeah. that we eat and you know so I, I, t I take my hat off to you I mean the problem for me is, is that I just don't know how to farm this land without animals you know this this was grass last year and there were cows grazing it the clover which was building up the fertility I, I, I don't think it's impossible but it would be a steep learning curve um, but the science is overwhelming, isn't it? It is. You know, it is. Know, more emissions than all transport on the planet put together. I mean, that's staggering. Yeah, it is incredible. Uh, and, and uh, you know, and we've got to change our habits. Yeah, yeah. Was it um, 70 billion animals a year slaughtered around the world to feed people? If, uh, if the whole world went uh, vegan, we could give 75% of farmed land back to nature. You know, and I, I do, we can't get, I think climate change is, you know, the biggest challenge facing our planet and that's really what we need to focus on.